terrorists and extremists. Can you just imagine these words being associated with a sports person? And not just any sports person, but a chess legend. The man in question, of course, is Gary Kasparov. And the organization, calling him a terrorist and an extremist, is Russian financial monitoring agency Rosfin Monitoring. Kasparov has been added to the list of terrorists and extremists by Russia's financial watchdog. Shocking and disturbing. Why though? The organization didn't give any reasons, but it might have happened because of this. And we'll tell you why. Kasparov has been a long-time critic of President Vladimir Putin. He has even condemned Russia's military offensive in Ukraine. Kasparov, of course, left Russia in 2014 over the fear of persecution. He has been living in the U.S. for a decade now and has been vocal of Russia and the Ukraine war. He has consistently urged the West to keep supporting Ukraine in the matter. Could this be a reason for a decorated chess grandmaster to be deemed a terrorist? Without even completely comprehending the far-reaching impact this could have, just listening to this, you and I know there will be consequences. There will be severe repercussions of this. Kasparov is likely to face, post this scary development, quite a bit of backlash. And let me break this down for you. The watchdog is responsible for combating money laundering and terror financing. And people added in the list can have their bank accounts seized. This all just sounds very terrifying. Kasparov is the same person who had a FIDE chess rating of 2,851 2, back in 1999. This was the highest recorded until it was finally surpassed by Magnus Carlsen more than a decade later in 2013. From 1984 to 2005, Kasparov was ranked world number one for a record 255 months. With 15 victories, he's also the record holder for the most consecutive professional tournament wins. He's also won the Chess Oscars on a record 11 occasions. At 22, Kasparov became the youngest ever world champion in 1985. He defeated the then champion, Anatoly Karpov. He became a household name. Kasparov meant chess and chess couldn't exist without Gary Kasparov. He backed this up, of course, by winning the title thrice in 86, 87 and 90, proving then that he wasn't just a flash in the pan. That's the legacy he has, and his contribution to the sport is immense. He's coached current champions. Kasparov coached Magnus Carlsen in 2009, and it comes as no surprise that Carlsen even rose to world number one ranking during that phase. A legend who has not just succeeded himself, but contributed to other success stories. And he's now being branded a terrorist. Well, it's sure to have rattled many, but Kasparov is clearly not many. There's a reason he's been a chess grandmaster, someone who checkmates from the most impossible situations. One who can hold his calm even when a storm is raging. That's how he was during his peak. And it's no surprising that's how he continues to be. Responding to this very troubled development, Kasparov took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to say this. An honour that says more about Putin's fascist regime than about me. As Goldwater said, extremism in the defence of liberty is no vice, and moderation in the pursuit of justice is no virtue. But all opposition, or simple decency, must be called an extremist by the dictatorship. Those are some strong words by Kasparov clearly a reflection of his resilience, which was seen in his playing days too. Russia finds himself, itself in a bit of a war with its own sports persons. And it's not just Gary Kasparov that I'm referring to here or talking about, who's facing this ire. Their Olympic athletes are caught in the middle of the storm as well. Everyone knows that the Russian athletes will compete under a neutral flag, not something that any sports person who's played for his or her country can really truly digest or fathom. No flag, no emblem, no anthems if they do end up winning the gold. No spirit of the contest or fighting for the country that you belong to. The athletes who finish off on the podium in the Paralympics events in Paris will not have their medal wins recorded on the table. It's dark days for a lot of these athletes, things they probably didn't really expect. And Kasparov is facing the darkest to come. The one thing I can possibly take away from this very shocking episode is of Kasparov continuing to remain unshakable and calm, continuing to go ahead and be, believe in what he does, in his fighting spirit, 
proving what a champion he continues to be.